Hello everyone and Happy New Year. Uh, this is Pastor Randy from New Life Assembly of God Church here in Sparta, Wisconsin. And just want to share with you a thought as we, you know, uh, exit 2020 and we enter into 2021. And just want to share a few thoughts I've had um, over the last, oh, I don't know, a week or so, thinking about the transition into a new year. And the reality is, you know, we always survey the last year that we've gone through. We certainly acknowledge God's faithfulness. And it's been a strange year. Uh, things that we would never anticipate uh, unfolded in our country, in our world. Uh, things that you might hear about in maybe some prophecy from decades ago or somebody said something or wrote something in a book and we think, oh, wow, that would never happen. And here we are, you know, 30, 40 years later and something very uh, similar has happened in the way of uh, pandemic, uh, political unrest that seems somewhat unrivaled in our country and, uh, you know, social unrest, just all kinds of things that have happened over this last year. And uh, you know them and many of you know those things uh, way better than I do and about them. But I want to share some thoughts, you know, we, we look at this new year and you probably have some hopes. Uh, when you consider this last year, you may have some doubts going into this uh, new year. And, and uh, you know, probably legitimately so when we just kind of look at things from our own perspective, our own mind, our own thoughts. And, uh, you know, if we walk into this new year with just all kinds of doubt and forecasting evil and more bad things, um, I want you to know, it could be right. Uh, God give us breath. Um, we're going to find out. Um, but I want to remind you too that, you know, good things show up just as suddenly as things we consider to be bad. Um, you know, you can look through the Bible and, you know, Old Testament and New. Um, God can bring blessing to us, it seems, right, right out of the blue. Uh, you know, the first day that God brought manna, uh, that was, boy, kind of on the wind, kind of blew in. Same with quail, feeding God's people. Uh, a day came where Pharaoh said, yeah, I'm, I'm going to let God's people go. Or I'm going to let the Israelites go. Uh, many were doubtful through all of that, and all of a sudden, you know, you look at uh, the New Testament, there was a point where it started. Uh, there was a, a, a moment in time where the angel came and announced to Mary she was going to conceive uh, the Savior. You can look uh, throughout the Gospels, things that Jesus did. There was a moment in a day that somebody didn't anticipate it, and he showed up and brought blessing and healing and direction and forgiveness and the manifested compassion of God for humanity. Uh, you can look in the book of Acts. The Holy Spirit that suddenly, you know, came upon them. And so I want you to know, blessing can come just as quickly as things we see that uh, maybe are bad or we don't count them as a blessing. And I want to remind you that as you step into the new year. I know that just because we flip a calendar page, uh, it doesn't mean everything changes. Everything goes away. It's just another consecutive day. But I want to remind you as we step into this new year, God can cause blessing to show up just as quickly as challenges show up. So as we go into this new year, and you may have... Uh, uh, some doubts moving forward because there's so much unknown. Now, some of us deal better with not knowing things uh, than others. Others really like to know every step of the plan all the way to completion. And, uh, you know, God doesn't always give us that. And uh, certainly life doesn't always give us that. You know how plans go. You've made plans uh, 
about your own life or a project or a, a team of people at work and as things unfold, didn't go quite exactly to the plan and still you got things accomplished, things were done, uh, maybe a curveball was thrown at you, but with God's help we know how to hit a curveball. And so I just want to remind us of, you know, a few things. Um, in the book of Acts, um, chapter 1, verse 8, a uh, pretty popular verse, especially those who are in the charismatic or Pentecostal full gospel circle. Jesus is talking with his disciples, and you know he tells them the Holy Spirit's going to come upon you and baptize you with power to be witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, uttermost parts of the earth. And what I want to pick out of this is Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, the disciples were pretty familiar with those places. They've been to those places. But the uttermost parts of the earth, um, they weren't all over. They didn't travel too far beyond the first three places that Jesus mentions. And it's stepping into the unknown. And I want you to know, we can step into the unknown, the days ahead, this coming year, with an assurance that the Holy Spirit will give us power to overcome ourself, overcome our doubts, overcome our inhibitions, uh, overcome our plans, and uh, overcome sometimes what becomes a barrier to us as we get so fixated on what we don't know and we try to guess and do all those things concerning our world and our life. And I want you to know that Jesus really gives them a marvelous tip on stepping into the unknown. The Holy Spirit is there to help us and give us power. So in 2021, as we move forward, our reliance on the Holy Spirit has um, always been important. It's vital. But maybe we're, we haven't been as alert to that in our daily life as we should be. And so as we look at 2021, and uh, we see 2020 in the rearview mirror, reminded of what's gone on. Let it be a sign that we need to increase our awareness and dependence upon the Holy Spirit, who has the power to help us step into unknown days and unknown places. Um, you know, the Gospel of John, chapter 14, um, Jesus says, basically, don't be afraid, don't worry, believe in God, believe also in me. And as you read through those first handful of verses in John 14, he comes to a place telling his disciples that basically he's going to his Father in heaven, he's going to prepare a place for them, and Thomas speaks up and he just says, Lord, we don't really know where you're going and we don't know how to get there. And once again, it's the unknown. What's ahead? Where do we go? What do we do? How do we handle the things coming down the pike in our personal life or in our life as a, a church or a family or, a, you know, a county, a state, a, a country, our world? You know, how do we step into all of those unknown things? And Jesus replies uh, to Thomas and he says, you do know the way. And Thomas is probably, you know, taken back like, Jesus, I really don't know about where you're going and I don't know how to get there and there's just so many unknown things. And Jesus says, you know me. I'm the way. I'm the truth. I am the life. And as the conversation goes on, Philip speaks up and Jesus just begins to tell them, you know what God is like because you have seen me and you know me and you've heard me and believe in the signs. And basically, Jesus is saying this to us. When it comes to the unknown, we have to focus on what we do know. And in this case, it's not what we know, it's who we know. So stepping into the unknown, there's such security when we know the Lord. He tells Thomas, you know me, you've seen the Father, and I am the way, I'm the truth, I'm the life. So when we step into the unknown and our reliance on the Holy Spirit and also our understanding that 
if we know the Lord, we have nothing to worry about. He, he is the way. He's going to direct us. He's going to keep us. He's going to strengthen us. I want you to listen to some. This, this is a great passage in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6. And as I start to read this, many of you are going to go, oh yeah, I, I know those verses. Listen to this. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust in all our heart. Not part of it, not kind of most of it or some of it, or with what we know and we're comfortable with, I can trust you with that, Lord, but there's these unknown things. Or what about this, and what about the future? Listen, we're supposed to trust in the Lord with all our heart. And he says, don't lean on your own understanding. Have you ever changed your mind about something? Of course you have. We all do. We gain more knowledge. Uh, we gain more experience. You know, when we're young, we think we have a lot of things figured out. And then, like many have said, I discovered how right my parents were as I got older. And we change our mind about things. And we, we gain knowledge and experience that changes our outlook and, and how we do things and how we approach things. And, you know, here it is. Don't lean on your own understanding. We're supposed to do this. In all our ways, acknowledge God. Acknowledge Him in all our ways, verbally, how we do things, the attitude of our heart that says, hey, this is what God would want me to do. This is how God would want me to conduct myself. This is the attitude that God would um, wish me to have. And so, therefore, His will, I have to be able to acknowledge God. We have to be able to now acknowledge God in all that we do, all that we say, who we are, the attitude of our heart, and the ongoing transformation from who we were before him to who we're becoming in him. And that we would trust the Lord with all our heart, lean not on our own understanding, but rather acknowledge God in all of our ways. And watch this. It says he will make our paths straight, or he will direct our steps. When it comes to the unknown, not knowing what to do in a circumstance, a situation, or things coming in 2021. It is important that we rely on the Holy Spirit, that we know Jesus, because when we do, He's the way. He's the truth. He's going to direct us. He's the one that's going to bring us life. And remember to acknowledge Him in all the ways that we live and conduct ourselves and make decisions. And it says this, that he will direct our steps or straighten our paths. He's going to lead us into the unknown, and it's going to be okay as long as we know him. Now watch what this says. Be not wise in your own eyes. You might have some things figured out. The Lord may have even given you some wisdom. But let you and I be careful about how we perceive how wise we are in our own thoughts, deductions, in our own eyes or our own judgment of ourselves, He says this, be, be not wise in your own eyes, but reverence, fear the Lord, turn away from evil. All of these things he's given us responsibilities with. And then he says, if you do that, this is the blessing. And here's one of them. If we will be humble enough not to be wise in our own eyes, and we will fear and reverence the Lord and turn from evil, it will be, if we do those things, it will be healing to our flesh. My actual body. Going through a pandemic. Let's acknowledge the Lord. Trust in Him. Commit our way to Him. Turn from evil. He's going to refresh your body. And it will be healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones or to your soul. Friends, as we face 2021... I'd like you to jot these things down and have them in the forefront of your mind, near your Bible, where you just kind of review it from time to time. So, you know, I've got to rely on the Holy Spirit, and that's the safest place. I don't have to worry about the unknown as I step into it because I know the Lord. Not just about Him, but I know Him. And, thirdly, we would trust in the Lord not in our own understanding. All our ways acknowledge Him. He will direct our steps. And when we turn from evil and we do those things, 
He's going to refresh our soul. He's going to heal our body. Friends, it's his promise. It's his word. And so let's step into 2021 without anxiety, without forecasting all gloom and doom, okay? And understand that blessing can come just as quickly in the midst of turmoil and come just as quickly as some challenging things blow into our life. I want to pray with you. Father, we commit our life to you. Help us acknowledge you in all our ways. For those who are listening and watching this, I pray, Holy Spirit, that you would just move upon their life so mightily in this moment and the moments to come. And as the needs arise, that we just need you and our awareness is so much more that um, we would rely on you, trust you, that Jesus, we would continue to walk with you so that we would know you, experience you. We know what God is like by being close to you, for you reveal him to us. And we know that we can cast our cares on you. You will care for us. Lord, help us not to lean on our own understanding, but rather lean on you, acknowledge you in all our ways, and bring healing to our bodies, to our mind, and a peace to our soul as we step into the unknown. In Jesus' name, amen. Friends, God bless you. And Happy New Year's.